Let's get about some attaboys, shall we? At Up and Adam show, let's hand them out. These are players, these are fans, maybe 10 year old fans flicking off opposing fans, who knows? They deserve a little extra for their performances on Sunday. I said Scott Hansen deserves one for being calm under pressure uh, during red zone action yesterday and a fire dr drill, was it a drill? False alarm, we still don't know. We have Tom Pellicero on it, we should get a tweet here shortly. But my first attaboy is gonna go to Giants rookie receiver, Jalen Hyatt. I know, the win over the Patriots, was all about Wink and the defense really as much as anything else. But this is a big time performance by Jalen Hyatt. We got to celebrate though, especially when he's a rookie and like the world is falling and you're playing with different quarterbacks week in week out. He had five catches. This accounted for 109 of Tommy DeVito's 191 yards. You know, I mean, Daniel Jones, friend of the show, what'd you make of this? What do you want to say to your rookie wide receiver? Atta boy, atta boy. Atta boy, atta boy, atta boy. It's about as excited as I've ever seen Daniel Jones. Um, so he had all those yards. No one else had more than 26. He had 109. Nobody else had more than 26 on the day. He put that game breaking speed, the big playability, everything was on display all game long. And this is important for Giants fans for the long haul, okay? We got Atta, oh, Atta boy Stroud. Atta boy, who else deserves an Atta boy? Guy Debo, oh, Debo deserves an Atta baby. And he'll be on the show tomorrow. But while the Giants may not be going anywhere this season, you wanna see something to get excited about. A little hoopla, please. And this is when young players put on shows like this, there's hope, there's some like emergence, something to like wrap your head around down the stretch. And I think they found themselves that in Mr. Hyatt. Up next, Let's go to the Rams. We don't talk about the Rams very much on the show, okay? How about Mr. Williams? He was on his way to a breakout season before he had landed on IR, and he got the ankle thing going on. But this kid picks up right where he left off, and he returns to lead LA to this dominant win over the Cardinals. The Cardinals, what a sad story that is. Um, 204 yards, two receiving touchdowns, first game back. You know how, I, you know probably appreciates this? Matt Forte, Matt Forte, do you love this? You love the kind of performance? Out of Kieran Williams? Out of boy. Out of baby. Yeah. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Uh, it was just the seventh game he's played this season. Fourth time he scored multiple touchdowns. Emerging into a star. Um, I think he makes the team so much more dangerous when he's out there. The Rams have, you know, they've gotten back to five and six pretty suddenly. I don't know how they do that. Um, and I'll, whenever I watch the games, it's really just like Sean McVay, like, pacing up and down the sidelines. That's all it is on red zone is him doing that. But listen. If the Vikings lose to the Bears tonight, they're a game back of a playoff spot. Finally, my last attaboy of the day. Who else you guys got? Let's see. My hair looks amazing. Are y'all crazy? <laughs> I look crazy today. My hair deserves an attaboy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, who else you guys got here? Who does? Oh, you know what? Jake, somebody said Jake Elliott. Mm -hmm. And I do want to say, we never give love to Jake Elliott. And in this world where kickers, all we do is like batter them when they do miss and whatever. Like Jake Elliott from draft choice to now, what a stud he is. He is and I love his goat. story. I love He's him. your goat? He's my goat. Oh, I just feel like we never give Jake Elliott yeah. the love. So I'm actually really appreciative of, of somebody saying that. Um, we, people are liking Attaboy Jalen's. We love that, we love that. Okay, I'm gonna hit you guys with, um, with a Colt because they deserve some space on the show. We gotta talk about Jonathan Taylor because after all the contract drama and all the injury drama, he's back to doing JT things. 95 yards, two touchdowns on the ground yesterday. Okay, this Bucks defense is no joke against the run. They never are. Nobody runs on this team. I don't know how the Colts and him did this or schemed this up, but I'm sure Dwight Freeney feels a bit of a way about this, don't you Dwight? Had a boy. There you go. Had a boy. There we go. Dwight Freeney giving him some love. Jonathan Taylor willing the Colts to a win, to a playoff situation. Okay, after the big performance, and then you got the Texans who barely lost, but they did, and the Bills barely lost, but they did. The Colts are in the final wild card spot. Ursay's tweeting recklessly. Who cares? They're in the playoff spot. Pay, pay Ursay. Stop tweeting. Pay this man. Pay this man and figure it out.